How's it guys? So this morning we were checking on the Kenyan Sandbows and we had a very nice surprise. So I thought I'd have to show you guys. And this female here, this is our albino female, but she's our high orange line. So normally the albinos are much more yellow and not so orange. And she has this beautiful highlighter orange markings along her back and I think she might still have one or two more babies to drop but we'll have a look at them now but in amongst her substrate we keep them on these premium wood chips that really proves to be the best substrate for them so far um, it's just much more easier to manage than sand and they seem to really love it in amongst the substrate you can see these little babies that have come out that she's just just dropped I mean they're still coming out of their sex and it looks like there's quite a few so we'll dig around and slowly start taking them out and setting them up but yeah always an exciting time but you can see how she's straining there in the middle um, so I think she might have another baby to drop So we'll leave her and we'll come back and check a bit later. Let me show you what a normal, the normal albino looks like so you can see how different she is. This is one of our normal girls and, uh, and you can see how much more yellow she is compared to that high orange line girl. So we're very excited to get some babies from her. You can see this girl's very gravid. She is fat there so she'll be dropping soon as well. And then you can see some of our normal girls also bulging. So they're all full of babies. So it's that time of the year now when they're dropping. They're all sitting on the warm spot. They keep it quite warm about between 32 and 34 degrees. They like it warm. And yeah, you can see another little baby here. As I'm touching the substrate, they seem to be moving. So it looks like there might be quite a few in here. Oh, this is a big baby. Sure. Look at that, just like the mom. See the orange down the back? That's a nice big baby. I'm interested to see how many there are. Oh, look at it. Look at this baby. It's full of yolk. See there, yeah, it's full of yolk. And that's to last it for the next few weeks while it gets used to its surrounding environment. It'll slowly absorb that yolk and that's basically its first meal. And then it will have a shed probably about seven to 10 days time and then we'll start offering it tiny pinkies. Look at them burrowing in there. So yeah, exciting stuff, Kenyan Sambos. Okay, so we're just gonna take out some of the babies here so we can get them out of here and set up into the enclosures. And the stuff sticks to them a little bit, but once they get that fluid off of them, then it all comes off. So there's that one there. Let's have a look, see if we can find another one here. There's two. That's really cool. Another one there. Another one there. And unfortunately, it looks like we have a stillborn here. And that does happen from time to time with live bearers. Um, out of the clutch, you do get one or two stillborns. And unfortunately, that's one of them. Looks a little bit undeveloped as well. But there's three nice babies. And she's a small female, so I'm not expecting too much. 
Yes, another one here. Here's another one. Oh, they're so small. They're such cool babies. That's the nice thing about live bearers is that you don't have to worry about eggs. But it can be frustrating. Um, as sometimes the female will look like she's about to drop and you think, oh, she's going to drop any day. But then it still takes weeks and weeks and weeks before they drop. So there we go, one, two, three, four, it's like five babies. And that's a, that's a, and then unfortunately the one still born, shame. That one didn't make it, but nice big babies, so very chuffed with those. So we ended up finding one or two more babies, so there you go, that's the beautiful clutch of these high orange albino Kenyan sambos. So very happy with that. Such beautiful little snakes, and we'll get these guys set up in their enclosures, get them on some heat. Great snakes.